Hello and welcome to room 101. Uh, so we've got a very interesting prop here. Um, so what exactly is it you wanted to put into room 101? Well overall it's basically bad cinema behaviour. Oh, but this right. is my interpretation of people talking in the cinema and then you having to tell them to be quiet. Okay, so what we've got here is shut up please. And this is blah 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 blah. Right, so is that kind of how you hear this this constant talking? Well pretty much, it's just like a mumble and it's more frustrating that you can't actually hear the words they're saying. It's just this intermittent natter. Right, okay. Going on the whole way through the film because you're trying to concentrate on the film and then you've got these people around you just like that don't shut up. Okay, so do you think it matters kind of what sort of film you're going to see? So say something very light-hearted or an action movie, surely it doesn't matter as much as if it was quite a serious drama or a biopic? I don't know. I think for me it's any film. Just any film. We've paid like £9 to go in. But then those people it. may say that they've paid £9 to go in and they want to chat while they're watching Oh, but I mean that why would they spend that money to go and watch a film and then talk about something completely different that's not associated with the film? But I thought you couldn't really hear what they were saying. I thought well, it was just natter, natter, natter. It depends when obviously they are near you. The thing that's most frustrating is when there's somebody explaining what's going on in the film to somebody else. It's like, okay. why are you so thick you can't understand what's going on in the film? Right, I can see that. I can see that. So, um, obviously the talking is a big thing for you. That's why you've included it here. Yeah. I'm just kind of out of interest. I can see this shut up, please. Is that the kind of approach that you would use? Not in usually. It would be a lot more wordy, but I couldn't fit enough on the speech bubble. Okay. But it would okay. kind of be, I mean, when they pass when I've had to do it, I would always be as polite as possible because then it might give them less cause to attack you or right. be so negative. But I would be like, excuse me, do you think you could keep the noise down, please? Because I'm trying to watch the film and all I can hear is you talking. Okay, that seems pretty yeah. reasonable to me. Would you consider going out of the cinema and getting an usher or attendant? Like a Not really. Vehicle? They don't ever seem to do anything. Okay. So, aside from the talking, um, you said it was an irritating just cinema behaviour. Just bad was cinema it? behaviour. So, it's things like just... Well, there's been times in the cinema when people have just thrown stuff at me. Okay, so what, popcorn? Well, and sweets, which are so expensive at the cinema anyway. Why would you just throw them at people? Mm -hmm. And they're like just, just offensive, like, behaviour towards other people, like calling people names and stuff. Okay. And uh, when people eat smelly food, mm -hmm. I think that was really annoying. I went to see Batman and someone was eating cheesy chips right next to us and I just thought, well, surely people so can be free to make their own decisions about what snacks they well, want. I just well, what do you like, like to eat at the cinema, then? Well, usually I would probably have sweets, but lately I've just not had anything. Because when I've been to see films lately, because I find noise so annoying, I'm, I open my bag when it's really loud on the screen, I, and I just don't do okay, it if it's too quiet. So I'm just like, oh. Well, most has perhaps become a little bit of an obsession with you. No, say. not really. I just think it's like... I don't know, I just, it's just so off-putting, you're there to see the film and people are doing these things and not paying any attention to the film. I think there's someone who obviously loves film, it's not the right condition to watch a film in. So why not just stay at home and watch a film? If because you're, you're supposed to be able, because you're supposed to go to the cinema to have the full experience of the screen being so large, the sound being okay, so good okay. and consuming you. And you can't I, do it when I people can, are disturbing yeah. your reality. I can see that. Okay, so is there anything else? Any other behaviours that wind you up? Or do you think we've about come to the end? Um, I'm sure there's more. Oh, 12 A's in general, children. Okay. So, I mean, so say you've gone to see people basically going to the toilet. child's film. Well, no, yeah. because this is the problem with it just certificates in general but when you go and see an adult's film which has got a 12 way certificate which is just a complete waste of time because they've never existed before and they don't exist on dvds that you're going there there are a million children going to the cinema who have 
no idea what's going on in the film. They don't grasp the concept of the film at all. Their parents have just taken them there. So do you think you're a bit of a film snob? Is that no, I don't think that's what it is. Process. No, I think it's just that you're sitting there and then got all these like four-year-old kids that don't know what's going on in the film, which usually has really bad language in it because they just don't seem to care anymore, and they're going to the toilet every five minutes. So you've got them running down the stairs, then going through the door and banging. You so does this it. toilet policy just go for all members of the audience? No, but I just think that you should be able to manage not going to the toilet for like an hour and a half. Mm, some people may disagree with that one. I don't know, I just think, I just think it's annoying. I mean, I know that there's some people who don't like it when people take their shoes off in the cinema, but I think that's one step too far. Because I, I, oh, I we're getting a few, right. a few mixed messages here. Well, no, because if you ever wear your sandals, but you know it's going to be cold, it's got the air conditioning on, you always take socks. Oh, she's always got an answer to this one. Hmm. I don't know. You must have found it annoying sometime in your life when you've been trying to watch a film. Well, I must admit, again. I did recently go and see a film. and. I think one of the things is you always think it's young people and no. that is something you've kind of, you have suggested throughout this discussion. So Oh no, it's anybody. Yeah, I would say the last major time I had a problem was um, the girl with the dragon tattoo and sort of older couple sitting behind us who were constantly talking yeah. about the book and how the film differs from a book. Well, just, is this a problem you've come across? Oh yeah, or? definitely. Just like silly things at inappropriate times during the film as well. I mean, you've got the content when it is serious and you just can't believe some things that have happened in a film and then you've got people talking about it just really loudly and just inconsiderately and it's just inappropriate. Mm, I think I think you have got a good point there. In fact, that's it. What was it again? Inappropriate cinema behaviour? Yeah, I can do, yeah. It's going in to room 101. <laughs> Congratulations. Thank you very much. For all cinema goers, I've done you a favour. <laughs>